Hello and welcome. We are learning Oracle Database Security on-prem and Oracle Cloud. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you would have heard the term MAA from Oracle, which is Maximum Availability Architecture, where you talk about things like Oracle Rack, Data Guard, and you are trying to make your applications available and highly available, to be honest. But I have seen and it's actually sometimes a pity that a lot of these organizations are not looking at security. That's why Oracle has come up with MSA, which is Maximum Security Architecture. I, To be honest, guys, when I actually saw this uh, slide from Oracle, I, I, I really loved it. Because what they are trying to do here is they are trying to take the database security controls, which we understood from, let's say, the previous slide where we talked about security assessment, security prevention and detection, right? So these three subcategories, as you might remember, the artifacts for database security. And what they have done in this slide is they have actually mapped each of these security controls against the Oracle products or the plethora of security services that are actually provided by Oracle. So if you try to understand this, you have the database, which is the central entity, and you have assessment, you have prevention, and you have detection. Now, uh, if you look at the color coding, it's more of that wherever there's, it's related to assessment, it's green in color. Wherever there, you're talking about prevention, then you, it's red in color, something like TDE, NNE, these are or database vault, these are part of prevention. And then detection auditing related, which is actually audit um, vault and database firewall. This, this would be in yellow in color. So let's try and understand uh, this bit. Okay, so you have the users, you have the applications, then we will first talk about database firewall and audit vault. Now, what exactly are these? So audit vault actually collects the audit or the activity data from database users and applications, including those with high admin privileges, like as we call the privileged admins or PAM. It collects the audit data on all database-wide critical changes, user account modifications, authorization changes, even login and logout events. And what Oracle has done is they have actually clubbed the audit vault and database firewall. So previously they used to be different um, products, but they have now clubbed it as one product called ADVF, which is audit vault database firewall. So the database firewall actually provides a multi-stage firewall that inspects the SQL traffic going into the database and determines with high precision whether to allow, log, alert, substitute, or block the SQL. It's, and guys, this is an amazing tool, especially when we are talking about SQL injections. If you want to really block your SQL injections, then that's the best tool available in the market, which is database firewall from Oracle. Okay, good one. So we've talked about database firewall, we've talked about audit vault. Let's come to this side, database vault. So what does database vault do? So database vault actually helps you to create realms on your data. When I say realms on your data, you're creating an additional layer of security on your schemas. So even a privileged user, like say a sysdba, is not able to select your data if you've created a realm through database vault. Then you have a concept of VPDs or virtual private database. So virtual private database allows multiple users to access a single schema whilst preventing them from accessing the data that is not relevant to them. So you're not making any changes to the table. It's just the way the where condition is, is changed, especially with, with a VPD. So although this type of access can be controlled by the application, the access via other methods like SQL plus would leave the data open to abuse. So VPD actually makes use of the FGAC or the fine grained access control to limit the data that is visible to the specific users. And normally this is actually done using application contexts and policies. Then we have a concept of label security. So Oracle label security can be used to label the data and restrict access with a high degree of granularity. This is particularly useful when multiple organizations, companies or users share a single application. 
Right. Then we talk about RAS. It's, it's again a new concept in uh, Oracle security, which is real application security. Oracle RAS or real application security provides a declarative model that enables security policies that encompass not only the business objects being protected, but also the principles, which are like users and roles that have permissions to operate on those business objects. And uh, you know, one thing to notice here is that the RAS or the real application security is more secure scalable and cost effective than the traditional VPD technology. So we learned about VPD. So there is RAS. So RAS is actually recommended as, as compared to the VPD. Then uh, we have concept of centrally managed users. As you know, that normally we normally connect as say uh, username password. But when we are talking about enterprise user security, then you have concept of OID. Oracle Internet Directory, or you now uh, from, I think it's for, from 18C onwards, Oracle gives centrally managed users. So centrally managed users provide a simpler integration with Microsoft Active Directory to allow centralized authentication and authorization of users. So your entire work of authentication or authorization can be done through uh, your Active Directory instead of actually going to the username password route. Second is privilege analysis. Privilege analysis is the, uh, that you need to understand which are your highly privileged users inside your database. So we'll, we'll uh, look into that as well. Then there, there's a concept of DBSAT, Database Security Assessment Tool. It's an amazing tool by Oracle. And on the cloud side, you have Oracle DataSafe, which does the same thing. So the uh, DBSAT is actually, it helps you to assess the overall security, identify the users, and discover sensitive data. Don't worry, we'll be looking at, at length when we, we are in the course. Then as part of the prevention, we have something called TDE, which is Transparent Data Encryption, which helps you to encrypt the data at rest. Now, there are two mechanisms in which you can store your keys. Either you can have software-based keys or you can have hardware-based keys. So when you can store your keys inside a separate hardware, which is also called HSM. Either you can use a third-party HSM or you can use an HSM from Oracle, which is Oracle Key Vault, which, which has a concept of highly uh, availability. You have concept of clustering and uh, it helps you to manage your encryption keys. Ah, uh, yeah. And then we move on to uh, data masking and subsetting. So uh, it's an amazing feature. Now, data. what is exactly is data masking? So data masking is where you actually change the sensitive information. Let's say you have a production database which has got credit card numbers, phone numbers, uh, salaries of, of uh, people, and you want to create a clone of that environment and then give it to your UAT teams or third party teams. What data masking does, it will actually change the data which is actually related to the sensitive data so that the actual production data is not available on the clone systems. And normally you can use Oracle Data Safe for that or through OEM also you, there are ways in which you can use the data masking pack and uh, to, to make these changes. So guys, yes, maybe as you, as you can now see and wonder that uh, we've been learning about maximum availability architecture, but we never thought about maximum security act architecture. So in this course, we'll try to um, work on most of these items, but as I keep repeating, a lot of things are licensed, so we need to be careful on that side as well. But yes, we'll try to understand most of these and get a crux of the MSA and how maximum security architecture works. Thanks for watching.